Hey guys, welcome to episode number 56. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I wanted to give you guys a look at the mangroves. Um, I haven't talked about them in a little while. What I did do was a DIY video on building this auto doser, which I've now attached to the side of my half inch uh, PVC frame here. And um, I'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, right now, I'm using the battery-powered version, but I will be switching to um, the other version to plug into the wall. I'll just let this go for a second. And there we go. So what I did was I, um, I read um, that these don't work if your water source is uh, too far below um where your uh, pump head is and i guess that makes sense because you know the, the pump isn't really designed to pump liquid any further than you know inside the the, the, the bottle itself so uh, what i did here was i placed this up here uh this is just water what i did was i filled it up to the 24 ounce line and i marked uh, my time down and then i let it go for uh 24 hours, I believe, or 26 or 28 hours, I forget, uh, and it got to about the 16 ounce line. Um, so I believe that that worked out to be a, a third of an ounce an hour um, in flow. And uh, I just put this uh, top on here um, so that the, the moisture couldn't evaporate, um, so that all the water would go through this line here and be pumped through the pump. Um, I set this to the fastest cycle. I think it's like nine minutes or something, and uh, and yeah, it it worked. Uh, one thing that I did find though was I siliconed up here, um, so this is leak proof. The first time I put this together, I didn't silicone here, and it did leak out of here. Um, so that was a failed test. And actually, what I found this time was because I didn't silicone down here um, when I connected this line to uh, where the, the, the bottom of the, the pump um, ends. Uh, I, I didn't silicone there and that's actually leaking. So because this is above grade, um, the water pressure actually um, slowly makes uh, this thing leak. And so I'm not getting an, an accurate test of my flow rate um, that's being uh, produced by my pump because I still have a leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. I don't know if you just saw that drip, but it, it did just drip. I'm going to take this apart and uh, I'm going to silicone um, this bottom part so that um, you know both both of these uh, pieces of tubing are, are siliconed in place. And then I'll probably attach it to the, the, the version of this where I can just plug it in and forget about it. And then I'll, I'll fill this back up to uh, 24 ounces, and I'll let it go for a day or two, and see what my flow rate is. I'm I'm sure it'll be similar, but it'll probably be a little bit less. Uh, so it might be something like a like a quarter of an ounce an hour, or something like that. And uh, then what I'm going to do once I have that all figured out, uh, I'm going to take this uh, Flora Nova here, and uh, I'm going to read the instructions on the back on um, dosing. And uh, then what I'll do is, uh, based on the directions, if it's like, you know, uh, uh, like, uh, like 1.25 or 2.5 or 3.75 milliliters uh, or, you know, one or two tablespoons per gallon or whatever it works out to be, um, I'll, I'll take whatever the recommended dosage is. And uh, I'll, I'll work that into uh, water so that um, I, I dilute it a little bit. So if it's, if it's supposed to be dosing like an ounce uh, a week, then I'll make sure that that ounce goes into the appropriate amount of water that's dosed every week. And then I will have a constant supply of uh, nutrients uh, coming into this tank um, so that they can grow hydroponically um, as quickly as possible. And I guess my indicator for these, for, for the growth on these, 
is going to be just uh, how healthy the leaves are doing. And right now they're all healthy, but um, I don't know if you if you recall the first set of uh, mangroves I had. All of their leaves were really healthy until they started starving each other out. So I'm just gonna once I start dosing, I'm just gonna continuously monitor to make sure I don't overdose the plants. Um, but to also make sure that I don't underdose them. And that will allow me to do water changes less frequently here. But before I do any of that, uh, I do need to find these crayfish uh, a home. I've got to put them in a different tank. Uh, they love to climb in the mangrove roots, but I don't want them in this tank while I'm dosing nutrients, because uh, I'm not quite sure what that's going to do for them. Um, I'm assuming it wouldn't be good. So uh, what I've what I've thought of is using these little uh, strawberry containers and seeing if I can't um, put a crayfish in in each one of these and and hang it like su suspend it in the water somehow um, in in one of my tanks. Um, hopefully a tank without turtles in it, um, so that you know they don't tear each other apart. Um, but they don't get eaten um, by other animals as well. So um, still trying to figure that out. But when I do, uh, then I'll start dosing this tank. So um, still thinking about that. But um, that's kind of what's going on there. And uh, the only other update I have is on um, the turtles themselves. Um, I asked for some, some feedback on... You know what I should do with these turtles now that I moved this tank. Um, I did briefly have all nine of the turtles in this 125, and uh, it was too many. Um, and someone suggested that I um, I moved uh, two of the 2011 hatchlings into the 55 gallon tank. So that's what I did. Um, I moved Timon and Pumbaa over here and I actually moved all the fish in here as well so um, that that seems to be the best solution for right now um, I just I just have this temporarily to make sure they don't climb out and I did take the light down temporarily but that will go back up uh, in a couple days but Timon and Pumbaa are in there and all the fish are in there they seem to be fairly happy uh, once they get their light back. But what that's allowed me to do here is put the uh, the four other um, 2011s, the the beetles, uh, in this tank with the uh, the three 2010s. And uh, what that's done is uh, it's kind of filled out this tank. So um, it doesn't look empty, but it doesn't look full. I mean, I think I think it's right on. Um, you know, when, when they get a few inches larger, they probably won't fit, but for right now, they all fit uh, just fine. And uh, the last thing is the sand. Um, I'm still unsure what I'm going to do with the sand. I might just try to try to wash the sand really well before I put it back in. And I might um, I might put only like an inch of sand in here instead of the two two and a half inches that I had before. Because it's just a little, a little too much work, and uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't like all of the the waste that was accumulating um, underneath the sand. Um, but they definitely need sand back in this tank. They look pretty sad without it. So that's kind of what's going on. Uh, plants are doing well, but the turtles want their sand back. So that's what I'm gonna go do. All right, guys. See you later.